What's up, everybody? I wanted to talk about the Eula banner and how I'm feeling because every, I seen a lot of people talk about skip banner, skip banner. Oh, it's skip, skip, skip. And I kind of want to talk about for one Genshin banners. Two, I want to talk about um, is Eula's banner like is the banner worth? And what does it mean if a banner is worth? So, if you haven't seen Eula's banner, it looks like what you see right now in my team comp, right? How did I open that? <laughs> but, uh, really? Okay, you see it, right? You see it. Chung Yu. We're gonna act like Chung Yu is Eula, right? We're gonna... Eula, Beidou, Shenyan, and Sing Cho. UA squad and then a monster girl. But, Beidou, I use, uh, if you want my opinion on all these characters, uh, Beidou, she's amazing. I think she's really underrated and slapped on. Like, she can do anything. Beidou can do anything, if you want to be real. Look, and here's why. Beidou has the stats. She has the stats to be a DPS. She has five hits, has the stats to be a DPS. Literally, has talents for DPSing, right? And then you have her Tide Caller, which is like a shield. It's like a, literally, it's like a shield, but like you get damage off of the shield. As you boom, take the damage, reflect it right back. And it's on a seven second cooldown. And then this, if you get, if you hit it at the, at the precise moment, at the, as they say, the precise moment, a character gets hit. Grants maximum damage bonus immediately. Oh, that's amazing. So then you can play a really fast paced. It's awesome. Good. Right. Have her ult, which is basically Kaya's ult. Except it chains lightning. Yeah. <laughs> so then you can make her support too with this, but you know, the that's long as shit. So she's a shield. Then at that, when you get constellations, she gets a shield on. Then it chains more lightning. Three. Then her normal attacks. That's for her DPSing. Then she lowers electro res. So yeah, Beto is constellations. Uh, uh, really good support. This this is where she becomes a really good. That electro res is bullshit. It, You know, it's nice. It's nice. This that's great for DPS beta. And this is great for support and right. So beta, solid unit. DPS support whatever you want. She's solid. I think nah. I'm not gonna talk about things I don't know. <laughs> but Shinyan, I barely built my Shinyan yet, you know. Um <laughs> Scraping by, scraping by. <laughs> but uh, Shinyan, she gives like just like Beto gives shield. Except the difference between Beto and her is that she shielded like you see extra fizz damage. Eula fizz queen. That to be fizz queen, right? So then constellations, and and this is the thing that I found really weird about Shinyan. Shinyan. For characters, but Shinyan herself has no fizz like artifacts. I you see, I have a Crimson Witch. You know what I'm saying it makes no sense. Her what's name is she gets better. She becomes uh, like Shinyan. <laughs> like I don't know how to describe Shinyan. She's Shinyan, right? Then you have fizz damage has its crit rate increased. No, decreased fizz res. I wouldn't say go to C4 just to get this. It's great though. I'm just saying that's really good if you everything. But yeah, and then you have Sing Cho, which I I have Sing Cho at C4. I thought I had C Sing Cho at Sing at three C3. What the hell? I had him at C3. That's nice. But yeah. Sing Cho becomes a beast when it gets 
does he decrease his hydro res? I've never really read Sing Cho's stats. Then he has more rain swords. But Sing Cho is meant for helping people. I think, he, yeah, he sort of heals and I don't have. Oh yeah. But well, this actually would be. I should probably. You know, Sing Cho, he's meant there for, you know, decreasing your damage and not letting you die, basically. I think his rain source counts as, like, they're not shields, but, like, they reduce the damage you take, I think. Corruption. So, yeah. I'm sad, I don't... <laughs> I haven't met my Sing Cho yet. <laughs> but, like, yeah, that's the lineup. And then you have Eula, which I can't show you because... I don't have a computer to add all that shit. <laughs> I've got a computer to add all that shit, and this is raw gameplay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Eula, she has, I think, I think I could, uh, I could pull her skills up, but. But, Eula, I think, from what I can remember, she's, you know, Fizz, and then you're supposed to, like, build up. I, you know, I'm not gonna speak on it, right? Eula's Fizz, that's basically what you need to know. She's Cryo, Fizz, Claymore, right? Cryo, Fizz, Claymore. But her whole gimmick is building up, like, stacks of things called Grimheart, I remember. These things called Grimheart, and then you unleash them with your E. Well, I don't know if your, your, e or, your E or your alt, right? And, it, you know, then you do big Fizz damage, big PP damage, right? Lower their fizz res or something like that. I don't know. Right? But do I think you should summon a Baron? Because most people care about the four stars, right? People know what the five stars, you know, five stars do, right? You know, most people, if you're going for the five star, you don't care about the four stars. That's what you're not here for. You're here for the four stars. Is that, is that valuable? Is that really valuable? Is the four stars worth going for that five star? Because if you, if you go all in on a banner... And there's no four stars you like, and then you don't even get the five star you like. Oh, that's pain. That's pain. So you don't want that, right? I think this banner, for me, I'm gonna summon on it because I want Eula. She's my, like she's waifu. I want waifus, right? I'm gonna summon for Eula. But purely as like, is that worth? I don't think so. It, it definitely depends on how you feel about the characters and do you. Need I was like, Sing has been on a bunch of banners, right? Sing has been on a lot of banners. By now, I think he's been on enough banners that if you've played up until... If, if you just started Genshin and you need Sing Cho, get Sing Cho. You know what I mean? I would recommend it. It's hard to get, um... Four stars sometimes, because, you know, luck be fucking you. But, like, if you want Sing Cho, go for Sing Cho. If you want Shin Yang, go for Shin Yang. Go for the characters you like. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, go for the characters you like. And I also want to talk about how people are talking about this is a skip banner. And to that I gotta say is, any banner that you don't like, any banner that has a character that you really don't like, characters that you don't find that you need right now, is a skip. That's just natural, you know what I mean? Like, not everything is a summon. Like, if you summoned on every banner, you wouldn't get nowhere, right? Like, Zhongli. Zhongli banner, after I got, wasn't, after I got Yanfei in that first... Uh, that first, I think, um, that first temple, I got Yanfei my first temple, I immediately dipped out of the banner, because that's all I wanted, you see what I'm saying, why summon on banners where you don't like the character, of course, that's natural that you're gonna skip the banner, oh, uh, crystal, uh, flies, thank you, but, yeah, that's just how I feel in that, it's like, I don't see why people are all, like, Kind of just making a big deal that's saying like, oh, I'm skipping Eula's banner. Every banner, people do this. They say they're skipping these people's banners. And it's like, okay. Yeah, it's natural. And I even said it. I said I'm skipping Hu Tao's banner. And the reason I skipped Hu Tao's banner was because I just didn't need Hu Tao. I just got Zhao. I already had a DPS. And then I had Beto. So it's like, why do I need more DPS? <laughs> then I got Yanfei. Now I really don't need... Well, I would like uh, Hu Tao because she's cute, but it's like, that's about it. But it's like, yeah. Summon for who you want. Summon for the characters you care about. Summon about 
on the banners you want to summon on. Like, we're all going to skip the banners we want. Every banner, someone skips. Every banner, someone's going to skip it. Because at the end of the day, some people might not want that character. Some people need to save. Some people might, some people might have just summoned for uh, Zhongli. Yeah, of course, you probably won't summon on Eula because you just spend all your money on Zhongli. Unless you're a whale and crazy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's how I feel about the Eula banner. It's a cool banner. I'm going to go crazy. If I get Eula, expect videos on it with the Star Snow Tomb Star Silver. And, you know, expect me to upload how I feel about Eula. Just like I uh, upload how I feel about other characters. But I am going to uh, make video on Beto rec um, recently because I've just changed her build. I'm going to be talking about how I feel about Chill after playing with them, even though I don't have my good builds. And I'm going to talk about how uh, the new artifact sets and how I think the new artifact sets are pretty decent, right? But yeah, that's just what I have planned. Uh, stay tuned if you are someone who watches my videos. Uh, but yeah, see ya. Peace. Have a nice day.